Some researchers from the Tri-Cities are being rewarded for creating a substance that could strengthen personal protective equipment like masks and gloves. Today I spoke with a PNNL scientist who explains how it works. For PNNL scientist Curtis Larimer and his team, research started years ago during the Ebola virus outbreak. Now in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, the need for his invention is more relevant than ever. It is a stretchy and super repellent coating. So um, it was designed to be able to integrate into uh, medical PPE. It can shed water almost perfectly. Um, so instead of water kind of sticking, droplet sticking to it, um, the water will actually bounce right off the surface. The material is called Elastidry Protective Coating. What Elastidry would help do, we hope, is prevent that transfer of, of liquids around um, in these healthcare settings. The scientist says they look to nature to create Elastidry. One of the nature's best examples is uh, the lotus uh, plant. And it has this textured, bumpy surface, you know, really small scale uh, features that help it shed water in the same way that we wanted to replicate. Larimer says when the pandemic hit, his team had to make many adjustments, but it also forced them to think about Elastidry being used by medical professionals. In our research, it really focused us on um, pushing forward to make the, the material more durable and more able to withstand the, the sort of long-term use that we needed for. Recently, Larimer pitched the invention to a national panel of entrepreneurs and won thousands of dollars. We're going to be using that um, primarily to try to engage commercial partners that would help us um, produce and then commercialize uh, the technology. Now Larimer hopes companies will pick up Elastidry as a part of PPE design to keep frontline workers safe from infectious diseases. Curtis says he was also inspired to create this substance by his wife who used to be a nurse. Elastidry could also be used in things like food processing, flexible tubing, and industrial manufacturing.